All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working with a uh, Ferrari FF. Why FF? FF stands for Ferrari 4. That's because it ha has four seats and it's four wheel drive. I'll get into that a little bit longer. So Hot Wheels made the FF in 2011. It was available in red and metallic gray. And then later on in 2013, they came out with this five pack, Ferrari five pack. And there you can find the, the white version. So in this pack, you got the 330P4 512M, the 612 Scaglieri FF, and the FXX. There's a different type of uh, Ferrari five packs out there. I think this is the best looking one, according to me. All right, so Ferrari made the FF for five years, from 2011 uh, to two, 2016. One post only, as you can see. And it hooks here on the back. So how many Ferrari do you know that have four seats? So FF, four seats, four wheel drive. I'll put a picture off of uh, the drivetrain so you can see how it looks. So typically it'll drive, it's front, the engine is in the front. It'll typically drive uh, rear wheel drive. But if you select a different mode uh, on the steering wheel, it will switch and uh, it will become four wheel drive. Now something that I notice in this car is the detail on the steering wheel. I don't think I've seen another Hot Wheels with a steering wheel that looks this good. If you have, let me know in the comments. This car with would look very nice with an engine. It would definitely look very good with an engine. But sadly, there's, I don't, nobody has a 3D printed one in this scale. And let alone for this car. This car usually, it, it came out with a 6.3 liter V12 engine. It had a top speed of 208 miles per hour. It was crazy. So, I'm going to do both. I'm going to throw them on the stripper. Let me open this one so you can see. They're exactly the same. If you go to the Hot Wheels Wiki fandom, you're going to see that there's a color variation on the interiors on the red one. And there's a variation also on, on the red with the small Ferrari logo. I think I've seen one with the Ferrari logo over here instead of over here in the door. Let me check. Yep, I put it, posted a picture. So you can see the, the the red one has the Ferrari logo over here in the, the fender. So I'm tempted to cut the hood on one of these. I don't know, but then again, I don't have an engine for it. So maybe in the future. Let me throw them in the stripper and I'll be back. All right, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, they're ready. They're stripped, cleaned. I'm gonna hit it with Vallejo spray paint black. Then I'm gonna clear coat it with urethane glossy, glossy urethane. And for one of them, I'm going to do a mix of these two. And for the other one, uh, you're going to have to go see the video on my other channel. I'll put a link up here so you go see it. So let me hit it with the black and I'll be back. All right, so check it out. 
I'm gonna mix these two there you have a pictures if you want to get them I've never done this before so this is gonna be a surprise uh, for me and for you in the past I've tried to paint over a shifter paint and what it happens is that it, it loses the the effect of a uh, color shift so this time I try to pre-mix them uh, to see what happens so there I'm just mixing it with uh, some airflow uh, airbrush flow improver and the paint kind of uh, it foams up so I put it to the side and I let it sit for like 10 minutes and then I come back and it's still foamed up but I'm using my uh, Badger Patriot airbrush here, modified. If you want to learn more about that airbrush, I'll leave a link up in the corner so you can go check it out, see what I did with it. It has a 0.5 needle from factory and I'm shooting at 25 PSI. Check it out. So this paint has to go over glossy black and less is more so you're gonna see that I only do about one coat I'm just making sure that I covering the whole car and you're gonna see the end result alright check it out look at this crazy thing they both ended up looking very very similar there is a slight difference where this one looks a bit darker on the side but from the top kind of identical so this one is the mix I did for this video and this is the mix I did for the other video two different uh, different colors and they ended up looking kind of the same that's weird so now I'm gonna do the uh, the headlights and all the details and I'll be back all right guys here it is the finished product check it out I made a a set of graphics but I like the paint so much I decided just to keep it keep it simple but check out those headlights the Ferrari logos on every side check out the that color shift zoom out a little So if you want to see the other one, make sure you go check out the other video on my uh, Spanish Spanish channel. Vallejo Color Shift Paint, I think it's called the Vallejo Shifters. It turned out amazing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Yes, it does roll. Imagine if Hot Wheels decides to bring this back. It comes out like this. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.